right, well, it looks like we're getting into game two of this best of three between Newport High School Z and Santiago. I'm Zyrene, joined here by Crusader Kitten, and we're getting into the picks and bans right now. And what do we see coming out? Well, looks like... Oh, no, hold on. Let's go, go back to that last game. We saw some really great play coming out of Newport High School Z. A little bit of lag issue coming off from uh, Shy Kids. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Which side's which? Oh, gosh. Right now, Wait, Santiago Santiago is blue team, correct? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, so they switch sides. Okay, never mind. So going back, Shy Kids did have a little bit of lag issue, and uh, that was really unfortunate. They must have his team back just a bit. And, uh, yeah, there's just really great objective control over Wall from Newport High School Z. And, uh, you know, just they played the game so well, able to pressure out all the lanes. And it looks like we're seeing a little bit of the generic, generic bands coming. It looks like the Elise going to be banned out here. They don't want to see that Elise coming back from uh, Ninja Hippo. So he played a really scary Elise, as well as Thresh and Ezreal also being banned. Two chairs that they had last game, I guess they're not running at this game, so they decided to ban it out. You all Singed and Riven also being banned out. Apparently, towards converted, converted Imposer. Composer right. Inverted. Com God dang it. Composer I know, inverted. I know. And then uh looks like a Shang gonna be banned out here. So I think those same three bands we saw last game from uh Santiago High uh, Newport High School Z. Yeah, um it is the exact same three bands. And this time no twisted fate ban though, and no vein ban. So Lin Chu gonna hop right on picking up that vein. Pretty much insta locks that one. Yeah. Wants to get, you know, that late, well, just Vayne in general such a strong any carry, you know, if she does well early game, then that's good, she does well late game, you know, she does, if she does well early game, then that's good, because she'll be able to scale well, a lot better into late game, however, she'll scale into late game regardless of how she does in lane, and it's just, um, how the rest of her team fares, looks like this, uh, Twisted Fate gonna be hovered over, and potentially the Renekton here. And if we see a Renekton, no, he's just scrolling through a lot of them. So yeah, like you said, they banned out the Thresh. Blitzcrank's still available though. And that Twisted Fate looks like, because it was left open, might be taken this time for Newport. Newport is up 1-0 in this series, and it is a best of three, so this is in, oh, once again, in the loser's bracket. So the team that loses does go home from this tournament, but they can compete once again in the fall. And it looks like there is gonna be a rumble, another double AP Ooh. comp coming out here for, for Newport. Yeah, Rumble, gonna be an interesting pick coming into this game. Definitely someone that you don't see too often. Um, especially not, we're not in HSL, I don't see them much in GoFull. Picked a few times in uh, in LCS though. And it looks like, ooh, might be seeing another Oriana as well as Jarvan. Now they're gonna be switching this one around. Anyways, let's go back to this Rumble. Rumble Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate, of course, is being that really strong global champion. Can get around with Destiny. And to get on top of people, throws on the Skun card, able to get. No, just a great effect with that, as well as um, Rumble. He's really strong in the landing phase when he goes to the late game. He throws on the equalizer. Really good. So there we go. That is actually going to be the Oriana as well as the Jarvan locked in. So taking Jarvan away this time from the enemy team. So I like Snow. Not going to have that Jarvan. Gonna, instead, they have to go for something else. But the Jarvan Oriana combo is extremely strong. And even if Jarvan flubs his ultimate and catches the ADC in it, Vayne can tumble out of it, which is very short cooldown and makes it very immobile. Yeah, so... What? Okay, so it doesn't like, uh... Okay, so anyways, going back. So Oriana driving, driving Cags onto a team. Oriana has that shockwave. Can pull everybody in. Oh man, I really wanted that Rambus. If they go for this Nocturne, I wouldn't be too surprised. Nocturne, Twisted Fate. Very nice combo. Able to get those, uh... Semi globals coming off. They should also, you know, go throw Pantheon in there. You can go, like, kill lane, bottom lane. It's Leona, but no, I guess not. They're gonna block in that... Uh, Graves for Epic Bubbles, which I do believe he had. Yep, he had that last game. Yep, he does lock in that Graves once again. Very comfortable on that champion. You know, they did win the previous game, so you know, not not wanting to change up too much here. And Nocturne does bring a lot of global pressure as well, considering that his his ultimate, although the travel and the displacement of it putting him in, you know, putting him in the fight isn't a global. It has a range on it. The vision is global so he can remove vision from everybody and then make them make them run into fights they don't want to be running into and combine that with a twisted fate you won't know where he's using his destiny gate and yeah, definitely so looks like ooh nocturne janna i mean no new janna well that 
Jenna is gonna be locked in there, so gonna be once again get that nice disengage here. We're gonna be coming up here. Good for Vader if they wanna go passively. Could potentially go aggressive as well. And if this Nina gets locked in, I really want this Nina to get locked in. But I'm waiting to get onto my spiel about Nunu. But where's he gonna go? Oh, there it is. It's gonna be the Nunu locked in. So it could be top lane Nunu, or it could be jungle Nunu. And that's really interesting. I would really like to see top lane Nunu. This is one of those guys that, you know, you sit top lane, you just harass your opponent. You have really good sustain because you have your consume, you have the, uh, the passive that can come up for yourself. And of course, once again, uh, jungle Nunu just being so, so popular. After you know, Trick 2G getting in there, you know, flash over that wall, you steal the, the buff with your consume. And the thing is, I really like Nunu being in here because it helps out Vayne. You have that blow boy, you put it onto Vayne, and all of a sudden Vayne just skills like infinitely better. And you know, Vayne already is like the like attack speed centered champion where you want to get that attack speed going for it because you can get many silver bolt procs off. However, when you get to team fights, maybe she won't have to build as much attack speed as she would normally would. Because maybe it's like it's a Bork and a fam dance, but then you just put the you put the blood boil on and it's just like boom, you just get so much more attack speed. And I really, really like the picks actually coming off of uh, Santiago High School. I'm a huge fan of what they're doing here. Anyways, for the last week, however, for the poor high school Z, they have picked up with this Leona, so definitely seeing some nice team fighting comps coming out of both of these guys here. And the Leona Grizz bottom lane, definitely a very aggressive bottom lane. Might be do and might be able to just take advantage of the the weakness that Janna and Vayne uh that they could take advantage of. Whoops. So why okay. <laughs> Why is there a portrait of Lucian already on the champion select page? I don't know, man. He's so cool. he's close. He's so I close. It. I want to click on it. <laughs> okay, anyways. It looks like he's permanently banned. Oh well. So. Yeah, that, that's okay, dude. A lot of global pressure coming out, and it's okay. It's me picking up that Leona, so he's gonna have that solar flare flare available, and. Really, when you throw down the slow, the solar flare and then you follow it up with a zenith blade into a shield, the daybreak, that person's going to be taking a lot of damage if you th throw the equalizer right on top of them. And they can pretty much secure multiple kills this way, but the disengage coming out here also for uh, Team Santiago, they are going to rely on this vein. They need to get vein fed. Yeah. That's what they need. Vein needs to get fed, or Shiki. If Shiki can get fed, and just destroy people in the back with her ball, with the dissonance and the shockwave, as well as the command attack, then it'll be a, maybe a different game than we saw last time, because Newport, they just started running away with that at the end and did such a great job. And, you know, of course, ended up taking that game 1-0 in the series. But despite that, they end up going with some different picks here in the next game. They don't pick up, uh, they don't pick up the Janna again. They don't pick up the J4 again. They end up picking up the Graves one more time but they don't pick up anybody else like they did last time. So not going with the Gragas, going yeah. with the Twisted Fate, going with the Nocturne, J4 and, taken away from them. So, And we can actually take down those Southern Blocks. You might have forgotten to that earlier, because I want to point out is that there's actually a Teleport on the Twisted Fate, so he's going for just huge, um, just huge map presence. Go ahead and take down the Summoner Blockers. Um, just at that teleport, there's going to be a huge map presence going to be coming out of him. And, uh, you know, Destiny in with... He can Destiny in and just teleport back to lane. He can get, like, split pushes coming off. He can be all over the map. So it will definitely be an interesting game here, especially with, you know, top lane singed being ran by Composer Inverted. And Composer Inverted having all of his... Most of his, his top laners banned out, apparently. Uh, apparently those target bans coming out from Newport are pretty much him. Yeah, he did say that last time. Uh, so, I mean, that, this is, because, of course, these are the same exact bans coming off. So, this time going a little bit interesting, mixing things up with this Nunu, and uh, saying they can go ahead and take this series 2 and 0, of course. Newport High School Z, they're getting these globals in here, and that could be really, really good. No, just to be able to kind of get this game and swing this game into their favor. They get double games going on somewhere. Um, most of these lanes, it's going to be pretty easy to do it. Just, you know, Leona going to be able to stun lock someone really easily. Rumble may be a little bit harder, but he does have two abilities that can just slow down the enemy. You know, combined with like a gold card that can come out or the fear coming out from Noct. And they can really just jump onto somebody and take them out really quickly. And hopefully just be able to snowball the lanes, or at least hopefully for them. Um... 
the, the, the teleport on Twisted Fate definitely going to be an interesting choice for the summoner spell. It's just, um, you lose a lot of aggressiveness that you could go with Twisted Fate with that by deciding to go a little bit more for global presence. And he has to utilize that, you know, when it comes into landing phase and getting those ganks off with that teleport. Otherwise, you know, it's, you know, moving around lanes like that, you know, for the early game isn't as effective as it could be. So, into the learning um, do you think there's going to be any, like, early invades coming off? Um, I'm not sure. They don't have that, that they don't have that support, and the invade didn't work out too well last time, having, yeah. uh, I believe Newport High School did get a kill there, didn't they? they pick, Graves got a kill early, is that yep. right? Yep, Newport High School Z was there to pick up this early kill for Epic Bubbles, and now we're going for them in the end of it, though. Yeah, they, they did end up winning, though. No, wait, what? Newport High School ended up winning. Oh, gosh, wow, I had so, this run the whole time. Okay. So, okay, okay, okay. So, wait, who got first blood? It was Epic Bubbles, correct? Yeah, it was Epic Bubbles, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, they were so, got for them. So, they might invade. Flamespitter does a lot of damage early on. Leona can catch people. The yellow card from Twisted Fate as well, if Kara Itsu actually goes with that at the beginning. And so, Epic Bubble does a lot of damage as well with the Buckshot at level 1. Not sure how it's going to go, but Nunu will be able to save somebody and speed them up if they're caught in the back. So I'm not sure about the invasions. I don't know how much ward vision we're going to see, be seeing either, because last time we didn't see a lot of ward vision at the start, and it was, it was a little depressing. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely something that could happen. I mean, if they want to go you know, for more defensive, then I guess that's just kind of the choice. However, you know, with champions, if there's like a twist of fate, you know, maybe you can get something going on there, as well as Ninu. I mean, like, I wouldn't be surprised if Composer really wanted to go for some kind of jungle so just because he does have that consumer course it does leave him a little late or weak in the uh, in the laning phase because of that but I mean it's come on it's Nunu you have that consume you want to put it to use and just say you know maybe steal something away however always has a possibility of not happening yeah it always does because they nerfed it so it's only I believe 600 damage now so it's only 80 more than uh than smite at level one actually no it's five it's 502 damage which damage. means which means that it's only 10 more than a regular smite so yep. it, that that was the nerf they made they nerfed it from 600 to 500 and they also increased the cooldown a bit i believe so it was consume smite is big but he just has consume right now not sure if he'll help his jungler start but it will put him behind as well because starting with starting with consume yep, so really doesn't help your laning yeah, so once again, Newport High School Z going to be going for the invade. It does look like uh, Composed Inverted has not bought any items, so this is probably the reason for it. But nope, the Empire is going to be coming off, and looks like the OK Composed Inverted will just uh, have to buy. But this can be a little bit bad for San Diego High School if they do find Newport High School Z in his brush. It looks like it's OK, it's going to be leading the charge. Yes, if your mind is able to see this, or it's going to be coming off. So this invade looks like not going to be successful. And I uh, are going to be playing a few words, however, from Santiago High School, and it uh, looks like they might just want to back off. And that's a little strange that It's Okay, It's Me didn't take the Shield of Day Daybreak or the Zenith Blade until just now. Ended up taking the Shield of Daybreak. Probably could have popped one of those wards with the Auto Attack, Shield, Auto Attack. Yeah, it's definitely something that could have happened, but... You know, I guess, you know, didn't want to go too far extended in or something like that. You know, they didn't have, a, like, a knight coming off from, a. Uh, from Twisted Fate and like that, so they do lose like a little bit of kill potential and things like that. So anyways, this is going to be getting, you know, these kind of normal jungle sites. Dragon going to be starting off with this red buff, a little bit interesting. So either just wants to get an early game going up, or just wants to have the blue buff for longer, or just wants to have a better leash coming off of this, uh, uh, from the, from his bottom end here. So he will be starting off with this red buff, I guess we'll see how he uses that. Meanwhile, Nocturne, normal start with that blue buff. We can go over at early build, it's pretty much standard all around. We have a Rejuvenation Bead set from Leona, which isn't too surprising. She really wants to have that passive sustain in lane. We'd start from Twisted Fate, also not too surprising either. Rumble starting off with that Rejuvenation Bead. A little bit out of the norm. There really wasn't that much else he could have bought. He really wants to have a little bit more sustain against Nunu, though. Yeah, looks like Nunu just spamming the laugh at him, too. <laughs> yeah, he's Nunu bot. That's what he has to do. If he doesn't do it, he loses the lane, dude. You just have to do it. It's a, it's a, it's like a, it's a, a it's a fact. Okay. And it looks so like, like lots of trading going back and forth here. Yeah, so I'm really quickly looking over at these runes, and they do look to have like standard runes, 
and uh, uh, you know, there's, there's some movement speed on this thing, a little bit interesting there. Just, I guess, you know, Blood Boil added on to that. Really nice. We can see bottom lane some trading going down, though. It does look like pretty much, you know, standing starts. Might be a bit of a gank from SD from Rise onto this mid lane. And it looks like top, they're both about half HP right now. Just hitting each other back and forth. Oh, the flag standard coming in on Karaitsu, but he flashes out of that one, so his flash is going to be burned until. The, Five minutes from now, so he's gonna be gankable, very gankable right now by J4. J4, one of those one of those junglers that if you don't have flash, he is extremely scary, especially when he hits level six. Yeah. And definitely it's really hard and there isn't that much that many people that can get out of it. There's only Grace with that quick draw. So people got maybe you know Leona was even played to an enemy, but other than that it's just uh not that that not that many ways that that uh, that the members of New Port High School, they could be able to get out of there. It's like gang could be coming in onto this bottom lane uh, from Alex. Now I'm pretty sure he was caught up by a minion. And yeah, they're picking him out, and Jarvan's gonna be coming down here as well. And, and it looks, uh, looks like, like they're a bit at a standstill. Yeah, he's just holding off in that bush, but I like Snow's there as well. The Zen Blade gonna make contact there. The Condemn gonna come out there. Shy Kids is feared. He's gonna get first blooded by I like Snow there. And that is gonna be first blood. Hand it over to Newport. Yeah, and that's just uh, Santiago High School. They're like, you know, we got this, don't worry. You know, we have Jarvan here, we can totally duel this. But no, they can't. It's Leona Graves and Nocturne. That early game just kind of just kind of craps on yours. So that is going to be the first blood going over to I like Snow on Nocturne. Maybe he'll be able to, uh, to try and um, snowball with that lead. Chris Hotstead goes. Looking over at, um, going back over to the top in the Rumble. It's actually running with moon see quid essences as well as a uh, magic pen red so it's and as well as you know the armor and mr seals and uh, glyph so really kind of reminiscent of you know if you don't remember zachers which used to be like master rumble player i'm not actually sure what's up with him now i haven't heard of him in a while but he used to run with that movement speed and that was like back in season two oh, and the so Zenith blade as well down bottom makes contact there linchu at about 200 hp and now uh, they're just gonna walk away from that one and you were saying sorry? Yeah, it's just the rumble going with a pretty old build that I've seen before, which you know may not be too effective now just because of a uh, moon speed did get buff. Things like that. However, he's running with that moon speed on himself, does get some extra chase potential, is able to uh, you know just run around the scrap shield definitely helps out with him and his moon speed. Looks like mid lane might be getting a gank from SDFU on Rise. However, Kira Itsu is being very smart, playing passively. Especially because he does not have words. Mmm, absolutely. There are not a lot of words in this game at all. At all. Like, they're holding on to their wards. Ninja Hippos has a ward. He already put one down. And then their jungler, I like Snow, also has a ward for himself. But then for Santiago, they have almost no wards. It's just Janna that has a ward. So their ward coverage is very, very, very low. They actually, yeah, it's only that one down bottom. And now Rumble yeah. returning the favor by spamming back to the new new oh bot. Oh god, this is terrible. <laughs> it is the lane of laughs up there. And uh, I don't appreciate it that much. <laughs> oh, it looks like the mid lane shockwave coming off. Oh, uh, the shockwave coming on to carry it too. He has the ignite ticking. He does get taken out there. Clockwork windup is way too strong. Yeah, those auto attacks is doing so much damage. Able to pick up the kill. And that's not good for that twisted fate. He's gonna not gonna he's not gonna really get that gank off for a while. You know, he has the level six, still has that teleport. Really should be looking to get a gank off somewhere. Maybe he's waiting for Alex Snow to um you know to hit his own level six, but you know, we have to see how it works. We really need to because um just for new product school, they really need to get that the twisted fate ultimate coming off and uh, able to get onto a lane and take them uh, take out the uh, take out members of Santiago High School. And Santiago, you know, although they are 400 gold behind, they're still very much in this. 400 gold is nothing. It's seven minutes in. It's so early in this game. Anything can happen. We haven't seen a team fight yet or a dragon. Do you think we're going to see a dragon anytime soon? Definitely something that I wouldn't put out of the way. Anyways, um, so uh, because it's it's a it's a nocturne in TF. If they're able to get a gank out somewhere, they're they're immediately gonna go to the dragon. That's definitely something that they should do. Same thing for this other side, uh Oriana and Jarvan, if they're able to get onto somewhere somebody with their combo, gonna be able to just take out some uh just take out pick out people, things like that. 
And it's just they really have to go aggressive because you're getting eight minutes in this game, one to one. Once again, both of these teams just playing so safe at this point, only taking you know the, the leads where it's going to be given to them really. And it's not, it's not like they're going for any aggressive, you know, 1v2 pushes or just really pushing with towers. They're just letting the junglers do the thing. And, you know, when junglers want to gank, it's pretty much when they want to get the kills. Yeah, and I'm really kind of disappointed with the Nocturne play for both both times that I've seen him. You know, first it was uh, Santiago bringing him to the table. Now it's Newport. And I haven't seen a lot out of him when he hits level 6. They've kind of just been sitting around on that ultimate and not putting pressure on a lane. Uh, and here comes TF. Looks like he might be going top. Yep, look, here comes the Destiny yep. Gate on the Composer Invert. He does flash out of that one. Karitsu did have the yellow card locked in, so it was a good flash. Yeah, definitely going to be able to get out of that one. That could have been really bad for him. You know, if the Equalizer would have came down, there's Ignite on Ninja Hippos, has the Harpoon Flame Spitter, would have been able to do a lot of damage there, but Composer Invert now without flash. However, that uh, Destiny is going to be down for quite a while. It looks like they want to go out to mid lane. Mm. Okay, it's going to be taking some damage in mid turn, but here comes Alex Snow. Yeah, he's got the red buff too. He has the fear down there, but looks like Twisted Fate going to go down bottom with that teleport. Instead of backing him up, and we're going to have the solar flare coming out there. The Zen play doesn't make contact. We have the collateral damage onto Shy Kids. He's going to start the walking shield. away from this one. SDFU on Rise coming in from the back. Epic Bubbles trying to get in there, but the shield of Daybreak is going to. Is going to. He's gonna get him. I don't know if he said the shield because the shield of daybreak or the eye no, of the no, storm. I mean the shield, the Jedi shield. <laughs> I was like, is he ahead of me? Is, are you a wizard? <laughs> yeah, the shield. Oh, uh, coming up from Jan stopped collateral damage. So, if he's had to use flash, it actually did not end up getting the kill. But here's the dragon. They got a kill down in bottom lane. They're like, okay, here's the dragon. So that is the teleport finally waking up in twisted fate. Maybe it was one of the things where it's like you're not gonna waste destiny of top lane. So that way, Sotago High School like, oh well, I guess there's no there's no more destiny. I guess we're all safe for a while. And nope, out teleport, teleport down bottom lane, picked up the kill, and then they got a dragon off of that, and now able to get the gold for themselves. Gonna be looking nice for them now. Yeah, really nice gold lead there for Newport. Now at the 1.6k gold lead part uh, portion, the composer inverted, trying to push top lane. Nunu not really the best pusher either. He's kind of slow, doesn't have AOE abilities aside from his ultimate. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's definitely a pretty big issue for him. Just going up in that top lane, he really only has the harass, and it's kind of rumble. Yeah. Rumble, you know, whenever he has a. Uh... Like whenever the snowballs come out, he's like, okay, I'm just gonna scrap shield that, and then gonna take a huge reduced damage from that. As well as uh, he's also run up with, wow, he's actually gone for a doing shield, which is pretty interesting. He's also run up with the haunting guy, so you can look at that magic penetration in there. Ball momentum shooting going up, 81 CS to 81, 82. So pretty much even CS down this bottom and a heavy trading coming off from these guys. Yeah, and the only really big discrepancy in CS we see here is the middle lane is we see Orianna about 20 ahead. Oh, but the solar oh, flare comes out of Lin Chu. The Zen Blade does make contact with their collateral damage coming out as well. And Destiny. also the Destiny. The yellow card hits him and he is going to get taken out there. And Shy Kids oh, oh, paranoid. gets paranoid as well. Maybe a little overkill there, but I don't I don't know. He might have been able to more get away assists. from that one. Yep, more, more assists. assists. More assists. More assists, more gold. And speaking of gold, that puts them about 2k up in the lead for Newport. And it looks like now they're sending both these guys over to this middle lane. I like Snow. Oh man, he probably would have been fine if he didn't go through that brush where that was just awarded by Shiki. However, you no, know, it's okay. Now they're one to four in terms of kills. Nicely ahead in gold. Top of Ninja Hippos. Hippos still pushing this up against Composer Inverted. And um, yeah, definitely gonna get the snowballing going for Newport High School. Just with those global ultimates, they can be around the map. They can just. Sorry, kicking wherever and watch. You guys shouldn't quite be damaged. But Bobby and Tiger going down. First time they give him Oh, no. the shockwave and the ignite coming out. The command attack doesn't actually go. The flash gets him away. Is the ignite going to tick enough? It has. Nope. Needed one more tick on there. But Lilac Snow going to get hit by the Jarvan. Flash coming out there as well. Command attack. And he's just going to walk away from that one. The tower is at risk though. Down bottom though, we have the Zenith play from It's Okay It's Me. But he's like, I hope I didn't really want that one. Gets condemned into the wall. Lin Chu is in pursuit right now. They don't have a turret, so they actually have a little bit further to walk away. Yeah, well, it looks like they'll just go on and get into safety in the tower. Meanwhile, mid lane, and then the tower goes down. STF, STFU on Rise, and Shiki are able to take that one down after forcing them back out from Kara Itsu. So, going to be able to trade the tower for the tower. Bot lane and mid lane going down. Graves going back, picks up the Bloodthirster Vein already on the way for that Blade of the Rune King. 
Uh, there's pretty much standing bills coming out from everybody here. Nothing too surprising. Uh, you no know, need to go into a Chalice of Harmony. Really nice item against Rumble. As well as, yeah, you know, magic damage coming out from Twisted Fate. And this is a good item overall. It'll be a lot of mana regen because, uh, you know, definitely that mana is a, a big issue that he has. Uh, this being his ability is costing quite a bit of mana. And who and, is that um, you were talking about? You know. Oh, yeah, because it's passive. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, passive because of a free spell. Into it. Yeah. yeah, but it's like 115 mana for Ice Blast right now. Yeah. And he has only a 600 mana, so that's like. I don't even want it's to do a lot. Like six ice blasts. Yeah, it's to try and counteract his passive, but it might be a little too high. Yeah, maybe. Well, you know what? He'll make do because he has a, he now has the Athenes and Holy Grail, so gonna get a lot of mana regen going for him. As well, some nice magic resist. We're almost able to go back. We'll see what he decides to buy. We're really seeing uh, pretty much the same builds on everybody. Do Giant Spell coming out from Rumble. So, going for Rally's Crystal Scepter, most likely. I'm really. Unsure if he's gonna do anything with that rejuvenation bead and that Doran Shield was a pretty interesting um interesting buy for him, I think. Uh I, I'm really not too sure where he was going with that Doran Shield actually. Uh the Doran Shield is just a really great pickup at the start for all top laners now. E e did he said Reju feed. Who did? Uh Rumble. Rumble? Oh he didn't start yeah. with the Doran's blade? Oh whoa. uh Shield, yeah. Doran Shield, he sorry. That. Yeah, well I don't know. I guess he wanted the ward, because if you buy it. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, it allows well, I guess... it allows him to stay alive a little longer. Yeah, it's going to help him out regardless. HP is yeah. always always a good stat. Definitely. Like top lane, Alex is gonna be coming in. He's laughing, but is it gonna cost him right now? The equalizer coming across the absolute zero as well. He's gonna flash the ignite is sticking on him, and paranoia comes out for the kill there. Alex no picking up composer inverted. And the laugh not getting Nunabot out of that one. Looks like SDFU Rise is in trouble. I think a gold card in the mid lane. Gonna be taking some damage from Twisted Fan. Here comes Epic Bubbles. Oh, Epic Bubbles uses the collateral damage and the buckshot. Not gonna hit, but the shockwave oh, is gonna hit. And wow. He's taking tower hits right now. Epic Bubbles does get taken out there by Shiki. The blue buff is on him as well. So that's why that happened so great, quickly. Wow. Great play from Shiki. Just huge damage coming out from him with that shockwave right back into the tower. He able to pick up Epic Bubbles. Collateral damage flashed and. Cloud damage from Flash used from Gray's Flash and uh, Solar Flay coming off from Leona, so a lot, <laughs> quite a bit used there. We're not able to pick up the Jarvan. So after that, does look like some more gold going over the Shiki it has that Athens and Holy Grail now. Um, most likely, just gonna be going for it. Possibly a Death Cap coming up. You might go for like a Zonis if you want to go a little bit defensive, but. We we'll see how it plays out. Blade the Ring King being built up on that vein. Not too surprising at all. How also has that Berserker Greaves. Gonna get, you know, that that vein going on. Really just wants to get the CS going down. You know, has kind of been spending a lot more time bombing. You know, Graves did sort of roam, but did not uh, do him too much good as uh, he was taken up by Shiki. Looks like this dragon has respawned. And, uh,. It will be the start for Newport High School Z on this. Now they are all over that. Shiki trying to harass with the ball there. A little far away, so not going to be as surprise attacky as he wanted to be. But they didn't pull the dragon out of the pit, and that's going to be pick up for Alex. No right there, but oh, TF just gets obliterated right there. Cataclysm on the back line right there. Ninja Hop, Hippos is all over the front line, but nope, not gonna, nothing going to happen there. The Zenith Blade into the back. We have Composer coming in from the top, but Epic Bubbles. He is being destroyed by Vayne right now. Gets killed right there. Double kill. Oh, and the absolute oh, zero. Yeah, zero. Full wow, charge. Yeah, huge damage coming out of that. That was a 17 minutes into the game. I mean, it's a dragon for Newport High School Z, but Santiago High School able to pick up that ace. Looks like they want to push out onto this mid lane there. And that was just really, really such a nice, clean team fight coming out of Santiago High School. And, uh, you know, the uh, the Kara Itzy was already pretty low, got obliterated by Shiki. You know, just, and the, after that, just the rest of it just went in San Diego's high school's way. And that wasn't really a huge team fight. That was like three little skirmishes happening in different places. Yeah. And it was it was just so bad. Kara Itzu got annihilated really quickly, and then just kind of snowballed from there. And then Nunu came in and snowballed everybody. Ah. Yeah, and he had the, the absolute zero and just, wow, <laughs> able to pick up the double kill. Now 2-1 and one 
Also, look at this, uh, this Jarvan. He's actually 0, zero on 5, so kind of racking up those assists there. And, al and although they got those one. 5 kills and a Damn. turret, they're still behind in gold. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So that's Dragon? It's not CS. That, that's Dragons. That's just Dragon? That's pretty much Dragons. Oh, oh, top lane. Oh, we have the Absolute Zero being charged in the lane. Oh. Hey, no spell shield on that one yet. But Kari Itsu does take a lot of that damage. The yellow card goes out there too. The Ice Ball coming out. He does have the Ignite taking on him. Is it going to take him out there? It does kill him. And that's a killing spree for Composer wow. Inverted. But Ninja Hippos is here to try and pick that one up. But gets a shutdown there. And that's essentially worth more gold for Newport though. Because they did get the shutdown and the two assists. Yep, definitely nice there. Of course, Composer and Ray just being new to able to turn that one around. And, uh, looks like, oh, Roman gonna be coming in here. Leona gonna be running into that, uh, Jarvan. You, you come, gonna be coming out there, jumping in onto Epic Bubbles here. Ooh, Epic Bubbles. <laughs> Quick draw oh, right out of that one. Yep. Um, you know, just being Graves. Pretty much. I mean, that's what Graves do. But they're getting the blue, and they know what's going on. They don't want, they don't like this. The teleport coming in. Going to discourage that really hardcore, even though it is just Kara Itsu, who I'm pretty sure she could just, could just 100 to 0 right now. Epic, epic Bubbles taking an epic amount of damage on himself. Lin Chu on that vein showing just how good that vein is. Oh, and the Destiny comes yeah, out right now. Look like lots of you coming out. The, the Zenith Blade out. makes contact. Destiny Shield of Daybreak. We have the Equalizer the across three people. The Monsoon is down, but the Destiny is going to come in right there, and we're going to have the Shockwave yeah. right on top of that. Vayne drops, Jonna drops as well, Shiki being chased down right now, gets taken out. SCFUM Rice is in the middle of all of that, and that was a 4v5 wow. and a 4 kill for zero. Newport just played that perfectly. I they saw Nunu... Totally they, they... You got live? What? Hello? Wait, are you at live? Yeah, I'm at live. Oh no, I think the sky... Hello? Yeah, I'm oh, at I'm live. I'm sky black right now. Oh, let's reset the call really quickly. Um, okay. Well... I'm at live at 20 minutes, and wait, what? Wait, what? Just hello? Okay, okay, back and say. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Okay, uh, yeah, I think the six. No, I think I, I think I lagged out or something. I'm not sure. Because I'm sure that I think the stream stopped for a moment as well. You just totally cut out for me. Did you I? Just cut out for me. Just now? Yeah, you just cut out. Yeah, mm. cut out. Yeah, you're cutting out for me. Is that me or is that that's, you? That's me. I'm. You just that's me. Stream. That's me. Lagging. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. So, yeah. Uh, don't know why, but I'm dropping frames right now, and that's... That's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Yeah. Well, we did miss... Uh, I, I, well, I guess he's... No, we didn't miss that fight. But it was a really nice fight down in the bottom lane. Just the globals being put to use by Newport High School Z. And now they're taking even more advantage. It's like Ninja Hippos oh, is cut off. Wow, we do have the Shockwave coming out. And the Flash coming out from Ninja Hippos to avoid the Absolute Zero there. Come, the Equalizer coming across. Pretty good positioning on it as well. Composer Nibiru trying to get the Ninja Hippos. He does get shut down right there. But we have, ep we have Epic Bubbles. And the tower is still up. The exhaust did come down on him. The Zenith Blade not going to hit there, but Epic Bubbles picking up Shy Kids right there. The dissonance is going to be down, speeding people up. It's okay. Destiny. It's going to flash. The Destiny coming out as well. And now we have the Cataclysm. STFU, I'm Rise, all over that right now. Epic Bubbles gets taken out there. And Lin's going to pick that one up for himself. Double kill. And Kara's just going to stand there. Oh, gets contempt and taken out there. And that's another ace. These wow. are They're just acing each other back and forth. <laughs> Just huge back and forth team fights, or not even team fights, just pickups coming off, they just snowball it down. Just really back and forth game going on right now. Goalie has pretty much equalized, it's a very small difference really. And uh, overall, I mean, <laughs> it's just like one team getting the better drop on the other, and it's like other, uh, it's like uh, in this fight, there's really nice positioning coming out of Lin Chu, able to stay at the back and able to just take people down. SCFU on Rise is just all over Epic Bubbles. 
able to take him out and uh, keep him out of the main bulk of the fight. And it looks like this bomb tire will be going down as a result. Or not, no, because it's at way too much health. No, that's way too much health. Lin's not going to be able to pick that one up for himself. But let's take a moment and look at the builds really quick. We see the Philo Stone on both the supports. I believe last time we didn't see a Philo Stone coming out for Shy Kids. He opted for the Warden's Mail instead and didn't actually get a GP5 yep. item at all. Yeah, of course, Shy Kids last game had a few more assists and a few less deaths. He was also running with that Thresh. Hey, so, uh, you know, maybe it was just going a little bit more for a tanky route. Maybe he felt like he didn't need that gold for 10. However, this game is obviously a different game. Looks like I've been talking. Nunu going for the Frozen Hearts, not going for straight ability power, but going for a little bit more tanky and utility. And that's something, you know, the, the Frozen Heart Art definitely helps off with the, uh, with the snowball as well as I believe Epson Zero. Yeah, both of them just slowing down attack speed as well as movement speed. So can really just cripple the enemy right now uh, if he's able to get those off into, or just get those around the same person. Yeah, and the gold lead has been minimized at this point. The, the kills are 13 to 13, and there's just dragons separating this team. Dragons and CS, because they're even in kills, they're even in turrets. And I believe Newport has picked up most of the dragons, if not all of them. And the CS advantage is in favor of Santiago currently, though. But you know, all around, except for their junglers. But it's just those dragons that are making this 1.5k gold lead. Yeah, definitely. Just, uh, once again, objective control. Coming off of what is it? Is it Newport that's getting the dragons? Or is it Santiago? Yeah, I think it's Newport getting most of these dragons here. Yeah, I'm seeing them getting most of the dragons just checking up with that chat. So once again, it appears like they've got about three dragons, maybe a little bit more, maybe one or two more. But yeah, they've been just having so much objective control that's been keeping them in the leading gold, even with the back and forth kills going on and on throughout this game. And the back and forth kills just show how neck and neck these teams are. It was... The first fight went to, I believe... Oh, there's Destiny. Oh, well. Lin is in trouble. Right onto Lin Chu there. He's not going to be able to turn invisible either. We're going to equalize it right on top of him as well. The Cataclysm right on the side of that. Shy Kid's trying to get disengaged, but not going to happen. He gets picked up there. The Shockwave for oh, man. Great shockwave. That was a great Shockwave there. But we're going to have... We're going to have Composer coming in from the side here. Oh, no. Nope. He doesn't want to engage here. I don't think he wants to go in with the 4v5. Uh, his team's already crippled. Without that Janna, don't want to get another Ace going down. And that, yeah, another ace would just be the last thing that they need right now, especially since they, they were, oh, well, it's been back and forth. I think the first ace went over to Santiago, and then the second ace went to Newport, and I think the third ace went back to Santiago. I think it, we've had three, and it's yeah. just been back and forth. Yeah, this isn't so back and forth, and they don't want more aces coming off uh, in this game. They want, like, one ace, and then the win the fight, and win the, win the game. Or, you know, more aces for them and not another ace for enemy team. But anyways, of course, no one wants to get ace. And everyone else wants ace. Okay, anyway. <laughs> do you see Rumble Long story Golden? short. <laughs> yeah. Long story short of this game, don't die and kill other kill kill the enemies. So, um, but you see Rumble has pretty much built up those Rumble items. Is what I should just call them. Has the like, rods, because the Scepter has Leandre's Tournament. With the constant damage you put out, these items are just... The best items can buy on Rumble. You get the burn coming off the Andrews, you get the slow coming off of Rallies, and now it looks like he wants to go for more some tankiness in the form of an Abyssal Scepter, most likely. He could also go, you know, other things. I wouldn't expect a Banshee's really out of him. I would more expect the, uh, the Abyssal Scepter going to be coming off of him. Really would be extremely helpful versus, you know, double AD AP comp with the double AP comp on his side. Uh, looking over at these AD carries, QSS on this vein. Of course, very important to have. I'm surprised it hasn't been the Mikhail's Crucible pickup from Janna, of course. She hasn't been able to get too much gold. She also hasn't been getting too many assists. It's actually 0 7 3 right now, so maybe not the best game for her. Looking over at Graves, has the Bloodthirster static ship built up, building into the Last Whisper very soon. The Leona has that Shirelia, so nice engage item coming out from her. And yeah, having that Shirelia is really going to speed her up, put her in a better position to use that Zenith Blade and then Shield of Daybreak, or even position herself for that solar flare but zero seven coming out here for shy kids i don't know if he's still lagging and they're just dealing with it or if he's just having a really bad game because he is half the deaths of his team yeah i mean well the thing is with that at least it's not other people i guess 
If you can think about it that way, but yeah. It could potentially be the lag. It's also that he's playing Jan in this game. He's a little bit more squishy than the others. And uh, I think it's Jan is that you don't that have that much escape potential besides the uh, the monsoon as well as tornado. I think that's just slow. But other than that, it's just uh, pretty easy to get caught off here. And she just... You know, she's been, and it's just such a huge team that can just dive onto people. Like in the last team fight, she got obliterated. People dived right on top of her and were just able to take her out. And, uh, and this is kind of the, the, the sad life of being a Janna. Yeah, and not a lot of escapes can just use the monsoon. The Howling Gale, I guess, can slow people, but doesn't really have something that gets her over walls. Whereas, like, Thresh, if you're really good, you can death sentence something and then fly yourself to it, like the wolves or the golem or something, get over walls that way. And it looks like Santiago is actually pushing right now, even though despite being behind in gold. Yeah, and they also have uh, Kira Itsu around the side. Looks like they may want to go in onto this one. I and mean, we've seen it before, and you put a high school able to just obliterate enemies if they able to get the drop down onto them. You know, Solfair comes off, equalizes, is able to go down. They just have lots of uh, huge damage coming off from their team. And uh, it looks like just the back off going to be coming off from Santiago High School. They have to be really careful here. And, uh, I mean, they just have to be so careful. It looks like the wards from them are actually in favor of them. It might be a little bit even, actually, this game. No, definitely in favor of Santiago High School. So a little bit of a swap up, th swap up there. And, uh, looks like, oh, Dragon's going to be pinged up here. Because it is live. Newport High School has gotten all the Dragons so far, I believe. Yeah, I believe they have. And maybe they'll just keep that up. But it hasn't really been affecting Santiago too much right now. And despite having a Nunu, they haven't been contesting these dragons very well at all. Oh, wow, Karyutsu taking a lot of damage there. Jeez, that Oriana. Wow. He, he can't take another hit like that. Oh, yeah, once again. Up. There's a dragon. I like Snow really good with those smites. Yeah. He has been right yeah. on those. Yeah, definitely. Really showing that he ain't the same vicious. Gets those smites <laughs> down. Once again, secures another dragon for his team. Well, it does look like Santiago High School realizes that, you know, they're going to be going back. There's actually a twist made down and bombing using the split push. And they're going on onto this middle lane and really pushing this one up. They can push really easily because they have, what, Blood Boy from Nunu as well as the Mossy Santa comes down from Jarvan. Oh, There's and the Paranoia comes in onto Lin right there. The Absolute Zero is down as well. It's only I Like Snow is in there. He doesn't have any backup right now. He gets taken out inside of the Cataclysm right there. And he kind of jumped the gun on that one, but Lin Chu is all over this right now. Going after Ninja Hippos, the Equalizer coming out there. The Shockwave going to hit oh, all three of them. Oh. TF has been walking this one out, trying to come in from behind, but he's got a red card locked in. Throws it at Lin Chu, gets the shutdown right there. The yeah, Ice ball come, ice Blast coming across. Composer. Oh, he missed the yellow card. Locks in a blue. Composer going to walk away from this one. And Ninja Hippos actually picks up Shiki right there. Off on the side. Ninja Hippos isn't in pursuit of Shy Kids right now. Misses the Harpoon. Trying to get a little closer with that one. Doesn't land. Yeah, and... Inhibitor, no. Oh. <laughs> I think the most important thing here is that the Inhibitor is going to not die. So they are able to return. New Prize School is able to return with that. And uh, did not go down. So that's very lucky for them. Not losing that inhibitor. Able to just, you know, finally go aggressive, take them out. However, with that exposed inhibitor, it's going to be very rough for them if they lose, uh, you know, just a team fight at all. Or if they just have someone go down for them. Yeah, the fact that they didn't lose an inhibitor is really big, like you said. But Kara didn't use Destiny Gate at uh, all. Not even teleport it. Yeah, it didn't. It was really, really kind of strange there. I'm not sure what was happening, and the paranoia came out really early. Oh, yeah. Well, I was like, paranoia, oh, they're going to go in. It's going to be huge. And it was just, I like snow. It's <laughs> like, where's the follow-up? Yeah, I was just like, I got them. G guys, <laughs> guy, I, I got him. I, okay. Yeah. Okay. And he just goes down. No, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, wait. Uh, Rumble, he's going for Spectral's cow. Proving me wrong. It looks like Spirit Visage wants to come out for him, of course. Uh, no, just being such a nice, cheap, tank, good, tanky item for anybody, really. No, no Abyssal Scepter. I'm kind of sad. I called it wrong. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. Abyssal Scepter would probably be a really great pickup on him because Rumble doesn't have a huge range. So you're usually in range of the Abyssal Scepter uh, Magic Shred, Magic Penetration, if... Yeah. If he's hitting you with flame spitter, so no, it looks like he might pick up that for the CDR. Yeah. So it's still it's still a very cost effective item. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So it looks like um, other I'm um, Spirit Visage are also on this Nunu.
great Animani do. Great, 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 amazing Animani do. With that consume, he's gonna heal so much from it. His heal is already at 200, no, 326, 320, 326. Plus the, the, what, is it 20%? I'm not even gonna it's do the 20, math it's that. It's 20%. 20%. So, so it's, that's like 60 something, 70. Uh, uh, that's a lot of heal. That's how you <laughs> should get down there. That's a lot that's of like heal. That's like 400 healing. Yeah, and that's really good. I mean, he just gets in there, you know, he can be tanky. And th of course, that's where he needs to be. Him and uh, Jarvan need to be that tanky front lines. We see that from Jarvan building go up with their uh, Renduin's Omen. Also, one of the Renduin's Omens is going to be coming out for Nacha. No, it looks oh, like it's, it's okay. It's me. He's actually in trouble here. He's surrounded by four okay. members caught out there. Oh. It is not okay. He is dead. He is dead. Looks like it might be an inhibitor here. Yeah, that is the that is one of the things I was saying. It's like if they lose somebody, if someone on the team, they're gonna lose that inhibitor. There it goes 33 minutes into the game. First inhibitor going down. Santiago High School picking that one up, and it's looking good for them so far. Might be able to move this into a third game. And this is really confusing because they're chasing after them, or at least positioning after them. They said they're all setting on a ward. They're all setting on a ward, but they don't have Leona, so they can't go in. Yeah, they, uh, they, like... they lost their, their primary engage. I would say Nocturne's probably a secondary engage at this point, seeing yeah. as what happened last time. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 we're not going to give you that responsibility any responsibility anymore. So it looks like uh, you put uh, San Diego High School just want to go ahead and clear out jungle camps. Looks like they might want to go take out this, uh, this, this bottom lane tower because that's still alive and oh my gosh wow we both caught it wrong rumble going in for uh banshee's veil yeah so, so more tank coming out from him and the spell shield which is useful i suppose you know he stops shockwaves stop, stop snowball stops eq combos and also gives you, sure. also give you hp regen if you get hit yeah that's true and also if they pop the spell shield so it is a good pickup for him and since it doesn't give mana anymore it, he, you could build it on Rumble and not have to worry about that wasted stat. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Doesn't have mana anymore. Nunu has sixty percent CDR. Of course, the cap is forty, but he's sitting on a lot of CDR <laughs> items right now. That it's <laughs> it's a it's a little uh, redundant. That's, yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. There, not even too sure if he needs that. But twenty. Yeah, it's a wasted stat 20, at that point. Wasted yes. gold. Jeez, that is. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, no, oh, this Baron, is it, can they do it? I mean, they really could do this Baron here. They have a Blade Ruin King, they have Consume on Nunu, and they have a lot of attacks be coming up. They could do that Baron if they kill one person, which very might be Karyatsu. Oh, Karyatsu. Oh, no. oh, no. Finn's gonna, Blade of the Ruin King coming out. He does, doesn't get the Condemn. He's gonna flash over, though. Oh, the Zonia's just popped. Oh, no. Put over on the side. We have the Equalizer across multiple people. We have the Shockwave down to the Absolute Zero. It is being channeled right now. Epic goes straight into that. The Monsoon for the Disengage. Lin is all over Rumble right now. He is going to follow him. I Like Snow is trying to cover up the rear right now. Flashes over the wall. Doesn't pick him up. And we have Epic Bubbles trying to take on Composer and Inverted right now. Lin Chu does pick up Nocturne up in the top. And he is uh, just believe, laughing at I him. The Nunu. I believe the <laughs> Nunu able to get the kill Shiki gets that one. That was four people for zero. It was a great pickoff by Santiago High School. And that's just the power of warding carries. You had no idea that the whole team, or most of the team in Newport High School, or I mean Santiago High School were in that, was in that brush. So now it looks like they're going on these Nexus Towers. They pick up the first one. Can they go for the second one? It does look like they can. And they might as well just go on for the Nexus here. And these death timers are too long, and the attack speed is too much right now. It looks like Santiago going to take this into a game three, evening up the series at one to one. It looks like we're going to be here a little longer. Oh uh, yeah, this is the first game three I've seen of HSL. I'm not too sure about you. Have you seen a game three before? I think I've seen one. Oh yeah, this ever. is special. I think I've seen one so ever. Special. No, yep. I think it was the first day. I think so. Uh, this is even better. Yeah. Because this is the loser's bracket. These, both of these teams are fighting to stay into the tournament. And uh, this one, this next game has it all.